welcome back to Tape for Spur. Right now I'm doing it from a different camera angle to make stuff of it. Right now I'll be teaching you how to make the um one of my favorite models. The um uh, uh it's something that is a very cool modular. I call it the, the flat kusadama. And so um I'll be teaching you how to make it. So it's made from Sonova Kusadama pieces. Regular Sonova. To me, a piece, you're gonna start by folding in half. By the way, you're gonna need 18 pieces of paper. I'd recommend using two inch to three inch paper uh, so it doesn't get overwhelmingly big. Now, you're gonna fold each edge to the crease you just made. Now I'm gonna turn the light on. So it's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna you're gonna fold it, make it so that it's vertical, and fold the bottom edge to the right side. Making this diagonal. Now you're gonna fold or repeat in the other direction for the other side, so that it looks like a parallelogram. Now, unfold everything, and you're going to go along the, um, <clears throat> so it's going to look like this. You're going to go along this crease, making it a valley fold, and then you're going to turn, and then you're going to fold the edge that, go, that it goes up to. Then you're gonna fold along the cr existing creases the um uh, um a uh, triangle on the bottom like this. Then fold this up and repeat, basically. Except you're gonna tuck it in for the last step. If you want a more detailed tutorial, go to my squish and spin tutorial. So it's going to look like a very interlocked parallelogram. Now you're going to turn it over and fold this point to here and this point to here. Basically, fold me it into a square. And make strong creases. Now, go in, go the amount of fold where the two edges meet. That's our first piece. Now I'm going to show that one more time before I pause the video and have it repeat. So fold in half, fold the edges, bottom edge to the right edge. Oops. Repeat when you turn 180 degrees. Do the interlocking folds. interlocking. Now fold the corners like usual. Now I'm actually going to show the whole thing of me making it so you just see how long it takes. So right now we're, on, we're almost halfway done with the green. I won't be narrating it as much. Like this video if you like origami. If I only upload quality origami videos. They're good quality tutorials. I 
I make about one to two videos a week. And I really enjoy making them. Hopefully you enjoy watching them. So we are almost one sixth of the weight on them all. Really itchy. Sorry about that. I'm gonna make three more from the same color. Now you gotta be very careful to fold the bottom edge to the right side. If you go to the left side, then do it another one to the right side, it's not gonna be able to connect. And you're gonna have to start all over with that piece at least. Well, you don't start all over, you're just gonna have to go along some, you're just gonna have to do some tricky steps. That's why you gotta be careful and remember. You gotta just repeat in the other direction. It's not that bad, but it kind of is frustrating when you're like, yeah, I finished the pieces, it's time to put it together, and then you realize, oh, dang it, I um, I wasn't, I made it wrong. That is not fun, trust me. By the way, if you're wondering what paper I'm using, I'm using 2.5 inch, um, uh, inch paper about, um, about um let's see uh, of um double-sided paper i got from amazon it was a very good deal i could have i got like over that over a 1500 it is for like less than five dollars around five dollars so i paid for it or I, my parents paid for it because it was really cheap and it's great quality for i always, always and i mean always use this for kusadamas Literally always. Yeah, it's great quality for Kiss and Mamas. It's perfect. Oops. Okay, one more, and then we'll be a third of the way done. I'm gonna go a bit faster now. Sorry about that, guys. And we are done the green, as you see. Now we're gonna do two more colors. Yellow and hay. I like calling it hay because that's kind of a very pale yellow. I'm gonna add some music to it. Alexa, play classical for a focus. Playlist classical focus on Amazon Music. Thank you, Amazon Music. No, it's not sponsored. I don't get sponsors and I'm so unpopular. 
on you, dude. Please help me reach 20 subscribers. Thank you. If I'll ever be as popular as some of the other YouTubers, but I'm trying, right? That's what matters. And that's how I think about origami. As a kid, if you don't get it, your goal is to make sure that it's that at least you try. And like I said, that's what matters. If I was trying to make like the ancient dragon, which I am pretty good at, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm doing pretty well. There's different. If I couldn't, if I failed to make it, I it'd be hard. And I maybe I'm not ready for it, but I tried. And I and at least and I, and I tried. And that's what matters. I'm like, sorry, I keep saying that, but it's true. Okay, so we are almost halfway done. If you're bored, skip to this timestamp. Actually, there's no timestamp, sorry. Um, I, um, I will be putting, um, a I don't know. Just feel fast forward if you want to need. I just take my time and just go with every single hold, at least a try. Okay, one more and then we're halfway done. Phew. Your creases are strong and precise. Okay, you gotta make sure, otherwise the Guzama pieces won't connect very easily. Every once in a while I like to check that my pieces are in the right angle. And they are. What I like about this is all these cre creases are not our like right triangles. They're not exactly like really crazy off grid creases, like the moon, like the just on moonlight pieces. This favorite kind of smells though, in, in a good way. It feels, smells like a new car. Yeah, so I like the smell of it, but not like I'd go buy a car, for us say. Like every month, I don't have the money for that. I don't even have the money for an origami shop order. Oops, I think I did too many. Let me put these back. One sec. Where are you? Let's put it here for now. Okay, anyways. That's the out of mind. Okay, by the way, we're more than halfway done. I forgot. By the way, this will be in another giveaway, too. 
in my giveaway of multiple origami. If you're like me, you're, you might be kind of impatient. So, um, just skip to when I am um, doing the comp, the, the putting the putting together stuff. We're almost two thirds of the way done. Sorry about this painfully slow video. Um, I will. I will be putting in the title real time. By the way, if, if, you, if I do a lot of comments in the future, I have a very strict rule, no cursing. This is because I want a family friendly channel. And that, and of course it's okay. And I think it's okay, but I, pr I prefer people not cursing. The other way, if some kid goes on here, a really good origamist kid who goes on to this channel thinking, hmm, maybe I'll try an origami, then sees like a cur curse word in the ch in the comments, um, then I won't be very happy. And if I find it, I'll instantly delete the comment. And so, so if you're trying to, if you're trying that funny business, you don't want to. It's pointless. Okay, we are two thirds of the way done. Yellow and green. Now time for the final one. We're gonna put those out of sight. Out of, sorry, out of here for now. Just for now. This is amazing paper though. It is hard to imagine making a rouge in with this paper. I don't have to shape like 10 by 10 of them together. It still wouldn't be enough. Wouldn't be even close. There we go. One down, five to go. If you haven't noticed already, I love math. It's gonna be one of my favorite things to do besides origami. I know that sounds crazy, but I do math as I said in school. It's sure fun. It's my favorite, it's always been my favorite set of subject. I like, um, uh, I like doing calculus. It's my favorite. Also like trigonometry, algebra and geometry. Those I like too. But I hate multiplication. It's just no, it's just, I always get it wrong. Just talking fun. Oops. Uh oh. Come on, move it quickly. That should be good. Sorry, I had a bit of a paper cramp. 
I'd like to call it. Okay, so, um, I do very much believe that, um, all people are equal, and there's no such thing as the greatest person in the world. And so, um, if you, um, so if you think that, um, just everyone's equal and they're, everyone's great and deserves a chance, like this video. Because I believe that too. There's no such thing as being born as a bad person. It's like, it depends on what your actions are. And if we can keep that, the, the uh, if people, all people agree, agree that within the world, the world could be a much better place. But only, fortunately, there's always someone out there who, who doesn't believe in something. By the way, I'm working on a, designing a special box for Autism Awareness Day. Um, so. I hope you enjoy it. Um, so I will be getting that soon. I will be designing that soon, but still we have almost half a year to go. So plenty of time for me to think. By the way, my grandfather's birthday is tomorrow. If you're watching this, Ray, um, happy birthday. Turning seventy three. It's hard to imagine. Make sure to subscribe to my D and D channel too. Where it's you how to like be a good DM and make a make a good campaign and how to think to get out of traps. So new it's a newer channel. There might not be many videos on it at the time of this video, but um anywho. Okay, we're almost done. Sorry about the I keep saying sorry. <sighs> I take it back, but um it's just taking so long. I aim to be done with this by 25 minutes. Hopefully I'll get there. Yeah, I'm gonna get there, I know it. Hurry. Don't worry, fun part's coming up. Last one, finally. I think I'm gonna make it. Oops, that was not great. Three. Mm -mm. This one needs the last one a bit differently. It's a harder way, but sometimes it's easier for some people. Mm, I gotta fix that. Okay, one more fold. Okay, we're done. So now we're gonna do the, we may turn this light off so it's easier to see. So right now we are gonna be doing um, the, um, the, um, putting together the connection. 
So you're gonna start with one color. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take one piece, one flap and put it in the pocket. Take another flap, put it in the pocket and kind of connect it all the way around so it's overlapping each other. And then uh, smush them together so that they fit really well. Now, you're gonna repeat, actually you're not. Now, you're gonna repeat on the, yeah, you're gonna repeat on the other two, the other two colors. I'm just using three colors, you don't have to. There we go. We're gonna do the last one. So it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna do the last one. If you can't really see the whole sorry, I'm using a new webcam. Well, I guess it's, I'm using a webcam. I haven't used one before. Okay, now you're gonna repeat both these three connected ones. You're gonna do it all that all together. Kusadama. That's kind of the point of the flat Kusadama. This, I got the idea from wall art. I learned on YouTube. Now we're gonna repeat with the last nine units. So put them, oh, interlock them into a point pyramid. And do the same here, as you know. It's gonna look a lot like a Zidama, but we're almost to the flat part. There we go. And now we're gonna put one on top of the other, like this. We're gonna do some more tucking in. Please don't, by the way, don't throw this. It's gonna fall apart pretty easily. It's more of a special artistic model than a Frisbee, <laughs> even though it may look like a Frisbee. And we're gonna do the, all, we're gonna tuck all the flaps into the pockets.
make sure it stays together. perfectly for him and it doesn't have to look perfectly good. Now you're gonna turn it over and repeat. It's gonna look like this. Once you put all the flaps in to the pockets, once that happens, you're going to make sure they aren't falling apart. are done. Enjoy the tutorial of making the flat kuhadama by